What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I got an unboxing for you guys today on a brand new HP laptop keyboard for my HP G71 laptop computer. Now we're going to go ahead and take this one out of the box. We're going to also do a removal of the old keyboard and also putting the new keyboard on the laptop. By the way, I already removed all six of the black Phillips screws already on the computer. I already removed those. And yes, you're also going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need a flathead and also a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and unbox this one. By the way, uh, make sure you do have the drivers uh, in your computer for the new keyboard to work with the computer. Apparently, this did not come with a driver disk. But we're going to go ahead and unbox it and do a kind of uh, overview of the keyboard and stuff like that on why I'm replacing the keyboard off of this laptop right here. This is my uh, G71 HP laptop. Notice something uh, on this computer. We got a key missing right here. This I don't like because it kind of annoys me a lot because seeing all the keys do heal and also seeing one key missing, that just drives me absolutely bonkers. And by the way, let's go ahead and uh, move the computer off to the side because we're not going to need it to shut. What is going to need this big giant uh, white box that the keyboard is in? It's already been uh, untaped and stuff like that. And let's just go ahead and uh, pull this little guy out. Flip up the uh, cardboard. And I'll just take the uh, box out the way. Put that guy out. We don't need that. And we also got a receipt and stuff like that. As well, awesome. We'll put that off to the side as well. And here is the brand new keyboard my computer is going to have. Now, this is kind of cool. I hope this keyboard does work. Let's see, let's go ahead and take it out of this little like stick to apple here and I did double check to make sure this keyboard was compatible with the uh, laptop computer I have now we do got a little bit of flux in the metal and that's typically okay and there you go here is what the new keyboard looks like a very awesome keyboard uh, there we go. Uh, as you can see that, there's the keyboard itself. It's a full size keyboard. And we all have our brand new keys, every single key. On that uh, keyboard is all yours missing the function 8 key. And this keyboard actually has that as well. Alright, let's go ahead and gonna put it there. And we're going to bring the laptop over. To the desk here. Let's just kind of make sure we don't break the new keyboard here. And what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and take out the old keyboard out of the laptop. And by the way, I always have this all on uh, screen. And this shit does pop out very easily. And we're just going to lift up a little clasp. And we're going to go ahead and remove the original keyboard. I notice brand new keyboard. The original old keyboard. You guys can see those two together. The, the identical style keys and also the identical style keyboard. And let's go ahead and put the new one in 
of the laptop. And we're going to discard and keep this keyboard for extra keys and stuff like that. We're just going to put this off to the side. Because now we're not going to need that. Because we have a lovely drain new keyboard right here. Now this keyboard, if you notice, we got to do uh, one thing first. Is we got to kind of bend the lemon keyboard, kind of like this, on the new keyboard for the keyboard, the new keyboard to fit on the uh, the guy as well. So want to make sure you do have about the same spacing. Now do be gently when you do press the uh, ribbon cable down is you don't damage it too much or you don't crease it too much. Let's go ahead and pull that guy out and let's go ahead and install the new keyboard. This keyboard is a very simple install. Anybody can do this. Uh, just make sure you look up your model and your make and you should have a working keyboard and we'll just go ahead and place the keyboard down pushing it very gently on and making sure she sits properly in place and there she is now the one thing we gotta do uh, before we decide to make sure we're gonna go ahead and power this uh, key uh, computer up here and we're gonna make sure the keyboard it's actual a working keyboard, if you guys can follow me. Now this computer is a very nice uh, old laptop. And yes, and it does have a nice new keyboard. And let's go ahead and power it up <coughs> and see what we get. Now we know the battery needs are so replaced on this laptop as well. But we'll do that in a future, uh, a future vlog. Once this will go away, the computer will boot, uh, boot normally, and this is what it normally does. And this is a awesome, uh, easy install. Go ahead and hit the enter key, and look at that! That keyboard just works just fine. Because I now am going to be booting into Windows, uh, Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit operating system on this computer. And now... We have a full keyboard without no keys missing on the keyboard. Like, the original one was badly missing a key. And also the keyboard was also kind of worn out over time, if you guys can see that. And let's see if we can get the keyboard, if it's working. We should have a working keyboard. And it would also go right into Windows. We got a brand new keyboard. The motherboard already has the drivers, all the drivers has the drivers for it. And ta da! <laughs> keyboard works just fine. Now, there's one more uh, option we gotta uh, double check here. It's going to into the uh, system here in the old program seal and we're just going to scroll down to the notepad on the computer itself and this is a nice little uh, computer I'm going to be using this as mostly as a kind of a spell laptop and we'll just go ahead and load up notes and we'll just make sure the keyboard is all working properly. I'm just typing random uh, keys and numbers. And also the keyboard is working just fine on this laptop. And there you go. And that's how you replace a full size keyboard on a laptop computer. Very awesome indeed, I should say. <coughs> Now the reason why 
I needed the new keyboard was because of a fact, because I was missing a key. Now, well, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in a uh, little ladle heel and stuff like that. It's very simple. Let's go ahead and uh, close the laptop and let's go ahead and install the screws for the computer or the keyboard uh, for the computer. All I got to do is take out the battery. Now, that's the first thing you typically take out is the battery when you're also removing any type of hold oil and also putting in new hold oil. Now what we got to do is we got to take off the this panel here, the hard drive panel, and we got to take this off to replace the couple on screws or need it on the bottom of the keyboard. Now, I'm sure I left this off, and it does be a lot easier to put the keyboard screws in. But that's okay. So I just want to show you guys on how this keyboard comes on and off. Now, <coughs> we're just going to install six more screws back into the computer here. Now, it's a very easy process. Anybody can do this. Now, I did replace the screen on all as well. And the screen works as well. It works just fine. Now, I don't know if it's on kind of upgrades I'm going to do this computer just yet, guys. Now, again, this, is good. this new keyboard is going to be a little bit tidal because of the Loctite is on the screws. And now we have a full function keyboard on this HP Pavilion G G71 laptop keyboard. Awesome, I like it. Okay, we got that one in. And also make sure the screw holes uh, also do line up uh, on your new keyboard as well. And this is a very simple, simple install here, guys. Very simple. I'm going to remove all six screws. So putting all six screws back into the laptop. And we should be done. And there we go, we are now done. And let's go ahead and replace the uh, cover on the computer itself. And let's go ahead and screw the four screws down on the back of this guy. And the key, the keyboard now works on this HP Pavilion G71 laptop computer. Very awesome. Now, it did take a little bit of time for this uh, keyboard to come in, but now I got it, and I'm very happy with installing the brand new keyboard for the laptop as well. Now, let's go ahead and install the battery. And let's double check to make sure all the screws are in now. And double check to make sure the all ticked as well. And we are now done replacing the laptop's keyboard on this computer. And now we have a full size keyboard again. Alright, guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. And also, please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.